On the sidelines of the COP28 summit in Dubai, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris had a clear message for Israel. Too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. Frankly, the scale of civilian suffering and the images and videos coming from Gaza are devastating. With more than 15,000 dead in Gaza under Israeli bombardment and ceasefire negotiations called off, the message of U.S. officials, including Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, has become increasingly insistent that Israel must do more to protect civilians. You see, in this kind of a fight, the center of gravity is the civilian population. And if you drive them into the arms of the enemy, you replace a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. So I have repeatedly made clear to Israel's leaders that protecting Palestinian civilians in Gaza is both a moral responsibility and a strategic imperative. The comments from Harris and Austin reflect a growing shift from the U.S.'s initial unequivocal support for Israel's military actions. But it remains to be seen if there'll be more than just words. The U.S. has provided Israel with much of the lethal weapons it is using now in Gaza. And the Senate this coming week will consider whether to send still more military aid to Israel. Not another nickel! Not another gun! Meanwhile, Saturday saw yet more protests in Los Angeles and Washington against the bloodshed in Gaza. As for what comes after the war, the vice president also outlined in the clearest public terms to date what the U.S. wishes to see for Palestinians. No forcible displacement, no reoccupation, no siege or blockade, no reduction in territory, and no use of Gaza as a platform for terrorism. She said the U.S. wants to see a unified Gaza and West Bank under the Palestinian Authority. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.